Hello movie enthusiasts! Welcome to Yusuf Reacts! I am Diana and today we are going to talk about the new movie Challengers 2024. Tashi, a former tennis prodigy turned coach, turned her husband into a champion. But to overcome a losing streak, he needs to face his ex-best friend and Tashi's ex-boyfriend. From visionary filmmaker Luca Guadagnina, Challengers stars Zendaya as Tashi Duncan. A former tennis prodigy turned coach and a force of nature who makes no apologies for her game on and off the court. Married to a champion on a losing streak Mike Faust, West Side Story. Tashi's strategy for her husband's redemption takes a surprising turn when he must face off against the washed up Patrick Josh O'Connor. The Crown, his former best friend and Tashi's former boyfriend. As their past and presence collide, and tensions run high, Tashi must ask herself, what will it cost to win? Tennis player turned coach Tashi has taken her husband, Art, and transformed him into a world-famous Grand Slam champion. To jolt him out of his recent losing streak, she signs him up for a challenger event close to the lowest level of pro tournament, where he finds himself standing across the net from his former best friend and Tashi's former boyfriend. In 2006, high schoolers Patrick Zweig and Art Donaldson are lifelong best friends and tennis doubles partners. After winning the Junior Open, they meet Tossie Duncan, a highly lauded young tennis prospect, to whom Patrick and Art are both attracted. Patrick invites Tossie to their hotel room, where the three make out but stop short of having sex. With the two boys playing each other the next day, Tossie says she will give her phone number to whichever wins. Patrick wins the match. Tashi and Art go on to play college tennis at Stanford University. While Patrick turns professional and begins a long-distance relationship with Tashi, a jealous Art questions whether Patrick loves Tashi. Patrick and Tashi fight when she gives him unsolicited tennis advice. Immediately after, Tashi suffers a severe knee injury at a match. Patrick returns to comfort Tashi but she demands he leave, and Art and Tashi tacitly sever ties with Patrick. Art comforts Tashi and aids in her recovery, but Tashi is unsuccessful in resuming her tennis career. A few years later, Tashi reconnects with Art and becomes his coach. The two begin a romantic relationship. However, Tashi and Patrick run into each other in Atlanta and have a one-night stand, which Art secretly notices. Over 13 years later, now married, Tashi and Art are a wealthy power couple with a young daughter. With Tashi as his coach, Art has become a top professional tennis player. He is one US Open title away from a career grand slam, though he struggles to regain his form after recovering from an injury. Tashi enters Art as a wildcard in a challenger event in New Rochelle, New York, so that he can boost his confidence by beating lower-level opponents. Patrick is now an unknown player living out of his car, scraping by on the winnings from lower-level tournaments and happens to also enter the new Rochelle event. Starting at opposite ends of the seating, Art and Patrick beat their respective opponents until they find themselves facing each other in the tournament's final match. Patrick secretly asks Tashi to be his coach and lead him to one last winning season, sensing she is unhappy with Art but she rejects him. The night before the final, Art informs Tashi he plans to retire at the end of the season whether he wins the Open or not. Despite knowing that Tashi is vicariously living her tennis career through him, Tashi tells Art that if he loses to Patrick, she will leave him. Afterwards, Tashi secretly meets with Patrick to ask him to throw the match to Art. Patrick reluctantly agrees, and Patrick and Tashi have sex. The day of the final, Tashi watches from the crowd as Art and Patrick are evenly matched. As Art takes the lead late in the match, Patrick begins to throw the match by serving repeatedly into the net. However, Patrick stops short of losing and instead taunts Art that he had sex with Tashi. An angry Art allows Patrick to score until they are again tied. In the final minutes of the match, Art and Patrick furiously trade turns. Art wins fairly, to the joy of himself and Patrick. Art and Patrick embrace on the court after years apart, as an elated Tashi cheers from the side. 
Fire and Ice, best friends since they were 12, Patrick and Art are rising stars in tennis during the senior year of high school. At the US Open, they meet Tashi the amazing Zendaya who really can do anything and are both captivated. It is quickly noticed by Tashi that Art and Patrick seem to be more than best friends. Challengers takes us back and forth through time, bouncing rapidly just like a tennis ball crossing the court. When the two men both pursue Tashi, it is very clear that Tashi is the tennis ball during the intense relationship between the two men. She mentions early on that tennis is more than just a game, and boy does this film work those themes hard. The previews left out the fact that LGBTQ plus themes are explored, but with subtlety. The sexual tension between Art and Patrick is so thick, I was left wondering where their relationship was headed. Both men wanted Tashi, but only Art succeeded in marrying her. The tennis metaphor and the literal matches fill the movie with excitement and tension that never gets old or tired. Be prepared to pay close attention because of the rapid-fire changes between the three leads. I know Zendaya gets top billing, but I still say that she's the tennis ball. Being served between Patrick and Art. Also, I have to point out that my favorite soundtrack artists lately. Trent Reznor and Atticus Finch Yes 9 Inch Nails did the music. They are popping up a lot lately in films, and they never disappoint. This movie was more of an erotic thriller than I thought it would be, because the previews barely touched on the real film. This is a movie worth talking about with friends, so please feel free to engage me. There is a lot left open for interpretation, and a couple of plot holes that weren't filled. One big example is Patrick shows signs of bruising near a vein in his arm. That's an obvious sign of drug abuse, but it's never mentioned other than it being noticed. Highly recommended film. I'm biased because I love tennis, but I'm a sucker when a literal theme is used as metaphor as well. Go see it, and seriously, hit me up afterwards. I'd love to hear other viewpoints, especially about the fire and ice. What I love about Guadagnino is that he never tries to replicate others or do something that can be very forgettable. Even if it's not always easy to see the similarities between Call Me By Your Name, Suspiria, Bones, and and All and Challengers. One thing is certain, they all have a very distinctive approach and are unique cinematic products. The score of this film is incredible. It's like a whole trip and it even contributes to make us anxious like we are watching a tense thriller. It is a very sexy film even if sometimes it feels a bit trapped to the Hollywood safe sense of disruption. The trio is amazing and I was the entire time mesmerized by Zendaya, who lives the more complex and nuanced of the three characters. The tennis scenes are very cool and I love many of the artistic choices, especially the creative editing process. Not only in terms of the structure, but some fantastic montages. Indaya is perfectly cast and you can see why she deserved to win the Primetime Emmy Awards. A Critics' Choice Television Award, a Golden Globe Award, a Satellite Award and a Saturn Award. As well as earning nominations for an AACTA Award, a Critics' Choice Movie Award and a Screen Actors Guild Award. She is stellar in Challengers and literally put this film on her back and carried to number one. This is a sexy, exhilarating film. I don't usually like a lot of time jumps, but they worked in this film. Because it helped the audience to understand the dynamics of the three main characters and how they got to where they were in the present day. Challengers had everything but the kitchen sink thrown in it, but it all worked perfectly Dot dot competitiveness, infidelity, jealousy, envy, deceit, raw and completely unbridled passion and toxic friendships. There is really nothing that jumps out at me that really irritated me, though the first half was a bit too slow for my taste. Every last one of the main characters, Tashi, Art and Patrick, felt real and relatable, yet toxic and flawed. If you're expecting a run-of-the-mill tennis film, then this is not it. If you're expecting euphoria set in the tennis world, you would be wrong again. If you allow it, challengers will get you emotionally invested. 
and then it'll take you on a poisonous, semi-erotic emotional roller coaster.